Now what we're going to do in this bonus video is go through and show you how you can take the animations that were created for the adventure kit and apply them to your own characters. This is just save you a little bit of time. There will be some uh, manipulation that you will need to do after you get this done to get it to work correctly. Or you can also go through and uh, create your own animations. Now I use Maya for this and I'm not for sure about 3D Max or any other software programs. I'm sure they have this available as well. But to start with, we need to go into his character's animation set. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we're opening it up right down here. Let's bring that over. Just kind of zoom in on this. Going under the animations. And here's all the different animations that he has created for this character. So basically what we can do here is just right click on each one of these or just select them, go under file, export that FBX animation. And where do you want to export it out to? Now here I've gone through, I've exported out each one of his animations. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and let's go into Maya. Now, inside of Maya, you can rig and skin your character any way you want. Um, the newest way is using the human IK. And what I did here is I just used the joint tool to go through, create my skeleton kind of the same way he has his set up. And no rigs, no IK handles, no controllers. So I just got the joints and I've gone through and skinned my character. So I just did a rough skinning on him. Uh, there are areas that will need to be uh, adjusted as well. Next, what we need to do is go through and file import and looking at one of his animations. So just going through, grab one of his animations that we have exported out. Here's the wall climb underscore upwards FBX. Now, just going through and importing one of his characters. So I've imported one of his characters down here. So I'll go ahead and select everything. And let's do a file isolate view selected. So we can see here's his character and the rig set up on him. So now I have both of these inside here, inside of Maya. Now, a couple of things that we need to do is we need to set up the skeletal definition. So this is where we do need to go to the skeleton and look at the human IK. Inside here, we need to define the definition of that skeleton. So going through, we need to define that. And what? how did you set up your character? Did you set them up in the T pose, the A pose? Um, things like that. But notice everything in here is green inside the definition for my character. Now if we go to none, I'm going to select his skeleton. Again, I'm going to go to isolate that view. So I'm only looking at his skeleton. And let's come over and again under define skeleton and we're going to come through and we need to define his skeleton as well so we're just gonna see everything in here is grayed out so we need to double click on each joint and then select those joints as we're going along so his spine coming up notice these head turn yellow so basically we need everything in green, so I'm just going to take this and kind of move it back a little bit. Notice that how that turned green. Let's go into the spine. He's got one more spine up here. Select that. Let's come out. Let's go into the shoulder joint. Double click on that shoulder joint. Now if you zoom in here, you can see his shoulder joint right here. Very small, but it still finds it. We have to go do the opposite side just because 
it couldn't find that on the other side. Let's go ahead and do the neck. The head. Coming out, let's do the left arm. And if you do the left, it usually finds the right. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's do the forearm and the hand. Now again, on the hand here, notice he's got two controllers here. So basically what we can do when we're defining this is kind of go through and let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go ahead and get out of this here for a second. I'm just going to select that skeleton, isolate just that skeleton that we're defining. That way now I can come in, select that left hand without selecting the other one. Go through, do the fingers, the legs. Notice here on the le left upper arm, again, just kind of pull it out away from that joint a little bit. The same on the right arm. And we get those turned to green. Okay. So I'm going to pause my video while I finish this process. And then when we come back, we'll show you how we can get these animations applied. Okay, now that I have his character set up with the definitions, notice they created a name for us. And one thing you need to do is make sure that any animations that you bring in, and this is what I forgot to mention here, is coming back. At, we want to go to a negative 5 on the frame. So just type in negative 5 on the frames and hit the S key off of that. So with, with our character here, and we need to lock it, is hit that S key so we save out that T-pose animation. Then we need to lock this so it gets locked in, is locked in. Next, we're going to go under the controls, character. We're going to change that to your character, and the source is going to be the other character. So now that we have those the same, it is actually our character here, or my character, is actually looking at his animations that he creates. So next, I'm going to go into File, Import. Let's go find his animations again. And let's do that wall climb upwards. Now, sometimes this can happen. All I got to do is go back to select my skeleton and let's go back to that bind pose. Let's change this to zero. Then all we should really have to do is go through and after importing one of his animations is go through and we can play that animation. So here's the sliding walls. Let's go through import. Uh, let's go through that wall backwards again. And see we got our climbing walls. Now again, just going through, there are some things that you will have to modify and change depending on how you skinned your character as well and the animations. So just be aware of that process. And when you're doing these, you will have to manipulate it. So size here doesn't matter. Notice my guy here is the default size for the character in the game. His is much smaller. And this way you can save some time on the animations. So I hope this helped you guys out. Um, good luck, and I hope you enjoyed the Adventure Kit video training series. Thanks a lot for watching.